Hi, this is Ramachandran from OnlineMathForAll.com. This video is about uh, GMAT word problems. Here we are going to see how to solve a word problem, and uh, usually this kind of word problems are being asked in GMAT. Okay, here let us see the problem uh, that we have on the board. So that is uh, the sum of the digits in a three-digit number is twelve. If the digits are reversed, the number is increased by four nine five. Uh, but reversing only of the tens and units digit digits increases the number by 36. The number is so when we do this kind of four problems, uh, the first thing uh, what we have to do is I mean the primary thing what we have to do is we have to understand the question how we are going to solve the problem. So that is not important. That is secondary thing because most of the students are uh, misunderstand the question and some students are not able to understand the information given in the question. The uh, primary aim of this question is to understand the information given. So that is our f that is the first thing we have to do. So the second thing is how we are going to solve this problem. So okay, first let us uh, understand the information given in the question. So actually we have uh, three information given in the question. The first information is actually there is a three digit number. Uh, in that three digit number we have three information. The first information is the sum of the digits in that three digit number must be equal to 12. So this is the first information or first condition. If the digits are reversed, I mean the second condition, if the digits are reversed, the number we get has to be increased by 495 from the original number. This is the second condition. And uh, the third condition or information, if you are going to reverse only tens and unit digit, the number we get will be increased by 36 from the original number. So these are the three informations we have been given. Three information we have been given. So the first information is the sum of the three digits uh, in a three digit number must be equal to 12. The second information is if the digits are reversed, the number we will get a new number. The new number will be increased by 495 from the original number. We will have 495 increment in the new number uh, from the original number. If you are going to reverse, uh, the third condition is if you are going to reverse only tens and uh, units digit. So, you will get a new number in which will have 36 increment from the new number. I am sorry, from the old number. So, these are the information we have in this question. Okay. Uh, okay. Instead of trying to solve the problem uh, from the given condition or given the informa given information uh, in the question, uh, to solve this kind of problems, so what we can do is uh, we can check the given options. I mean, option A is correct, or option B is correct, option C is correct, option D is correct. Uh, because uh, when we are trying to solve this problem with the options given, uh, it will save our time. The problem can be solved easily, and uh, the problem can be solved in a minimum time. Because uh, if we use the information, uh, I just as in, uh, I just assume X uh, in the hundredth place, Y in the Tens place uh, z in the units place. Uh, so when I do, so, uh, when I'm trying to solve the problem in this way, uh, it will take more time. It will take more work. But uh, uh, in competitive exams like GMAT, uh, we should try to solve the problem uh, as soon as possible because uh, we have to save our time. And uh, the time we save in this kind of four problems can be spent in some other problems which are more difficult. Okay, now, uh, so what I'm going to do is, I'm, uh, instead of trying to solve this problem with the information given in the question, I'm just going to, uh, I'm trying to solve this problem uh, with the options given. That is, I'm just going to check uh, option A is correct or option B is correct, option C is correct or option D is correct. Okay, here the students may have a question. When we are trying to solve the problem with the options, how can we do? I'll show you here. Now, uh, I'm just going to try the three options. Three, two, seven. Sorry. The second one is three, seven, two. The third one is two, three, seven. The fourth one is two, seven, three. Now, uh, when I'm trying to solve this kind of four problems with the options, I just have to check uh, so whether uh, the conditions given in the question are satisfied by the given option. In case uh, the three conditions, uh, for example, the uh, three conditions given in the question uh, are satisfied by option A, so we can decide option A is correct answer. If three conditions are uh, satisfied by option C, option C is correct answer. In this way, we can decide so which option is correct. So now I'm just going to check all the three conditions uh, in uh, 
all the four options so first thing what i'm going to do is i'm just going to check the first condition you know all the four options that is uh, the sum of the digits uh, in a three digit number is 12 so when i check the first condition in option a so 3 past 2 will be 5 5 past 2 7 will be 12 I'm just add all the three digits 3 past 2 2 past 2 7 so we get 12 so uh, the first condition is satisfied by option A I'm going to check the same first condition in option B 3 past 2 7 will be 10 uh, 10 past 2 2 will be 12 so here the second option also satisfies the first condition 2 past 2 3 5 5 past 2 7 will be 12 2 past 2 7 will be 9 9 past 2 3 will be 12 so the first condition is satisfied by all the four options so now i have to check uh, whether the second condition is satisfied by all the four options so for that what i am going to do is uh, so to check the second condition we have to write the given uh, numbers in reverse order because uh, the second condition if the digits are reversed the number is increased by 495 so now i am going to reverse the digits so when i reverse the digit in the first option i'll get i'll get the new number 723 here 273 here 732 here 372 so now uh, I have reversed the digits in all the four options so in the first option uh, when the digits are reversed I get the new number 723 in the second option the new number is 273 the third option 732 the last option 372 so in this way we get uh, new numbers so now we have to check uh, whether uh, there is uh, increment 495 in the new number from the original number so when I check the first option the new number we get is 723 so it is uh, it has been increased approximately by 400 not exactly approximately by 400 because difference between uh, the digits in 100th place is uh, 37 so the difference between those two numbers is 4 so in the first option the new number has been increased approximately by 400 <coughs> so it may be correct answer but I'm not sure anyway uh, I'm just going to check the same thing uh, in option 2 I mean option B so clearly option B is not correct answer so that we surely can decide because the reason is the new number we get is 273 and uh, it has to be increased by 495 but when it uh, when you see the original number the new number 273 has been decreased about 100 approximately 100 from the original number because the original number is 372 the new number we get by reversing the digit is uh, reversing the digits is 273 so it has been decreased but we need increment 495 so the option B is not correct so let us check option C so when you see option C uh, the difference between the digits in hundredth place uh, is 5 because here in the original number we have 2 in hundredth place and we have 7 in hundredth place uh, in the new number so the difference between these two numbers uh, is 5 so definitely uh, the difference with I mean the new number 732 we get in which we have uh, increment approximately 500 from the original number so because uh, when we find difference between the digits in 100 place we get 5 so there is an increment approximately 500 in option C so option C also may be correct because uh, so the increment in the given uh, question is about uh, 500 that is 495 it's close to 500 so that is why I'm saying option C may be correct okay we can check it at last now I'm just moving to fourth option that is D option so definitely the option D is also not correct so because the new number we get is 372 in the given condition uh, the new number has to be increased by 495 from the original number but here definitely 372 has not been increased by 495 because uh, the original number is 273 uh, the new number is 372 the new number has been increased approximately by 100 so option D is also not correct either option A or option C may be correct so the only thing is the new number has been increased by 495 so to check exactly this uh, what we can do is we can uh, subtract the original number from the new number so now I am going to do this process uh, in option A when I do so 723 327 I'm just going to subtract the original number 327 from the new number 723 so when I do so I have to subtract uh, 13 sorry I have to subtract 7 from uh, 13 here when I do so uh, I'll be getting 6 
because when we subtract 7 from 13 we get 6 so uh, we don't have to do any more here uh, because uh, we must be getting 495 as a result when we subtract the original number from the new number but here we get the units place 6 uh, if we want to get 495 as a result so the unit place uh, must be 5 so even in the units place we don't get the correct number so we don't have to check uh, the tens place the hundredth place or anything so uh, we can stop here and we can uh, proceed our next step in option C I hope students can understand so why I have not divided I am sorry why I have not uh, subtracted 3 to 7 from 7 to 3 completely I just stopped subtracting even in the units place because the result must be 495 even in the units place we get 6 if we get uh, 5 in the units place we can continue uh, subtracting tens place and also hundreds place but even in the units place we get 6 when we subtract the original number from uh, new number so the first option is not correct ok now let us check the option C so here uh, the new number is 732 so the given number is 237 when I subtract so I just have to subtract uh, 7 from 12 we get 5 so here uh, the in result must be 495 we get the correct number in units place now uh, let us do the second one so now uh, I'm going to subtract 3 from 12 I'll be getting 9 and um, if I subtract 2 from uh, 6 I'll be getting 4 so we get exactly 495 so from this it's very clear in option C uh, the number we get uh, by reversing the digits uh, increased by 495 from the original number so the first second condition is satisfied by option C and also uh, we can check uh, the third condition also because option C only is correct because uh, uh, option A, option B, option D have not satisfied uh, uh, the second condition so option C is only satisfying the second condition option C is uh, only correct anyway we can check uh, the third option also now what I am going to do is I am just going to reverse uh, only uh, the digits uh, in tens place and units place so when I do so I will be getting 273 so this 273 uh, must be increased by I mean uh, in this 273 we must have the increment 36 from the original number 237 we can check it out so uh, how can we check we have to subtract the original number from the new number 273 when I do so so we have to subtract uh, 7 from 13 it will be 6 uh, if we subtract from uh, 3 from 3 3 from 6 it will be 3 so we get 36 so the new number 273 has been increased by 36 by from 237 when we reverse the digit in tens place and unit place so in this in this way easily we can solve the problem so here the students may think uh, sir uh, for this one also it takes time so why don't we try to solve the problem using the given information students uh, please listen to me carefully so when I was explaining this problem uh, it takes time but when you do this kind of problems and examination you are not going to explain this problem to anyone and also you don't have to do all the steps of uh, like uh, 3 positive 2 positive 7 whether this is equal to all. in this way we don't have to check uh, for the first condition just without writing anything we can easily check the first condition for the first option so mentally we can check the first condition because when you add 3 positive to 5 5 positive 7 will be 12 so 3 positive 7 10 10 positive 2 will be 12 uh, in option B and option C option D easily we can check the first condition so to check the second condition so uh, we reverse the digits so we get 7 2 3 2 7 3 7 3 2 3 7 2 as new numbers in all the four options so easily we can uh, decide option B and option D are not correct because uh, um, there is no there is no there is no increment 495 in option B and option D uh, there may be uh, increment 495 in option A and also option C so to check that uh, we just have to subtract the original number from new number so without explanation uh, if you do this problem this problem can be solved within one minute in 40 seconds 50 seconds uh, uh, the problem can be solved and you can get the answer okay students uh, I hope now you will be able to understand uh, how to do this kind of problems uh, from the given options uh, and usually this kind of questions are uh, this kind of four problems are being asked in GMAT so when you have this kind of questions in GMAT easily you can solve uh, in a minimum time you don't have to spend more time for this kind of four problems uh, by using the way what I have taught you uh, in this video ok students uh, for more videos like this please visit uh, www.onlinemathforall.com thank you